So we're going to go straight into it. I'm going to kick off with a presentation entitled How to Give a Kick-Ass Demo. We ready? All right, let's do it. Click it down. Okay, so at the, the kind of work that we do, we always have a demo. Whenever there's a presentation in a big forum like this, a small forum like a boardroom, there's always a demo involved in our presentations. Now, most of them go something a little bit like this. I'm going to give you a Fusion Tables demo. Okay, so the first thing you do is you go to Google Fusion Tables, you say New Table, the very first thing. Then you say Import Table. Now, I could import from a CSV file, from a tab file, from a text file, from an Excel file. I could even import from another Google spreadsheet. If I wanted to, I could create an empty table. Now, you probably can't read this, but this is 2 million Wikipedia points, which I've geocoded. You probably can't read it, but what I'm doing there is I'm running a SQL query. I can run any kind of SQL query I want, any SQL query. I can just run it right there in the browser. Now, you probably can't read, but it says latitude, longitude. So here I've made a map out of those 2 million points. Look at that. And I can click on one of the points, and I can see a pop-up. Now, I can change that pop-up to be anything you want. I could put an iframe. I could put a video. I could put bold text, anything you want. So there we go. Any questions? That's the kind of demos that we typically do. Now, the problem is I've explained to you how you use it, but I haven't explained why you might want to use Google Fusion Tables, what's different about Fusion Tables compared to what you're doing at the moment. It's because we're very technical and we like to understand how things work. It would be like if we had an amazing plane that could fly twice as many people for half as much fuel, and we sat you down in the cockpit and said, this button does this, and this button does that. That's pretty much what we're doing when we do a, an overly technical demo, like that example I just gave there. Now, geeks, we love the latest and greatest. We always upgrade the latest version. We're normally running a sandbox on our laptop with three different versions of the latest app. We'll often compile the app during the middle of a demo because we love the latest and greatest features. The problem is most people fear change. You show them something new, they're just thinking, oh, God, I've got to change what I do. I've got to learn something new. If I'm a manager, I've got to spend time and money training my staff. So I don't want change. I want things to be the way they are. So why do people request a demo in the first place? The secret is they want software to reduce their pain. They want to make their lives easier. They don't really care about the latest and greatest button or function or menu or drop-down. So I'm going to give you a couple of little tips on how you can improve your demos. And the first one is a little bit counterintuitive. Don't do a demo. We always, because we're geeks, we love to do a demo. If someone says, can you do this? Yes, look, watch. And we do it. Maybe take a step back and don't demo everything. If the question is, can you run a SQL query, the answer is yes. You don't need to show it. The second thing is, if you do a demo, make sure you're solving their problems. Solve their problems. Don't just show the latest functions and buttons and tools. Make sure you solve their problems. Now, in order to solve their problems, you need to know what their problems are. You need to research what their specific problems are, either before the demo or even at the start of the demo. Just ask them, you know, what is it you're trying to do? So, answer their specific problems rather than listing every feature and function that your software can do. Don't show config screens. There's nothing more boring or confusing than a config screen. We often do these demos where we sit there and we type in something and we go next, and we type in something and we go next, and we think it's really easy because we understand in the background what complicated things it's doing. But to the user, it just looks really complicated. I've got to go through 50 different screens. This is the same Fusion Tables demo. This is 2 million Wikipedia points geocoded, show the results. Why did I need to show that in the Fusion Tables at all? The result is the important thing. I've made a map out of this information. Now, this tip is when you're working in an agile environment especially, we'll often go out and do a demo of software that isn't complete yet. Only half of the software might be working. We put in placeholder text. We put in dummy buttons. We don't have any styling yet. Now, the problem is, for the end user, that's really confusing. They can't make the mental leap into what the product's going to look like the way that we can. So involve the designer right from the start. Make it look good right from the start so the, the audience has an idea of what it is you're trying to do, where you're trying to go. Now, if you want to get some inspiration, you really can't go past Steve Jobs. He was one of the master technical presenters. And he very, very rarely came out and listed features or functions. He didn't come out and say the MacBook Air is 11.6 millimeters thick. He just came out and said it's the world's thinnest laptop. And that's why you want one, because it's the world's thinnest laptop. He's been doing that for years, or he did it for years, right back from the original Macintosh launch in 1984. Have you, have you guys seen that? He pulls it out of a bag, plugs it in, puts in the floppy disk, and it starts talking. So have a sense of drama about your demos. Don't just dive straight into the features. Make people get excited. 
Now, because we're technical, we like to think we're above sales, but really, a demo is a sales pitch. I hate to, to break it to you, but you have to sell your product. Get people excited about it, even if it's a free product. You want to get them excited about using your product. There we go. There's my tips on how to give a kick-ass demo. Thank you.